the WWE record is um, 80,709. That's the real record. That's the real number for the AT&T WrestleMania. Um, so, so, you know, they could beat that, I suppose. But if they have a stage, can't, could they? I don't know. I don't expect them to get anywhere. You know, I really don't expect them to get anywhere near that kind of a number. I don't even know that they expect it. But it's, uh, like I said, it's um, it's quite the ballsy move. You know, I mean, um, and it's probably, the you know, I mean, it's more than Toronto um, and more than Los Angeles. If you're going to make that move, London is probably the place to do it because of the nature of, um, you know, American entertainment doing very usually does very well there. And AEW has been on TV there for years um, and and has, you know, decent exposure, good exposure even. Um, I know that, um, you know, the, the, the you know, the, the AEW generally does draw more viewers than WWE because it's got a, you know, free to air station rather than BT sports, but make no mistake about it. I mean, like if you are looking at popularity and any, and any metric other than TV ratings in the UK, WWE is way ahead of AEW, but it is still the first time in. And the first time in gives you a shot, especially if you do a loaded up show. The first time in is your best shot to draw a giant crowd. So whatever that, you know, I mean, we never really tested the limits with, uh, you know, again, they've, they've never done, you know, the super, super loaded show that they have the ability to do. Um, they've done very loaded pay-per-view shows, uh, but they've never done it. And they've never done it in a market like London, which does have a real... Um, you know, a great, great shot with with a you know those people will know that you know the difference between a big show. Look, UFC goes in there with um, not even big shows, and you know they sell out the O2 immediately. You know, every time practically they go there. So, you know, um, and obviously this isn't UFC and and all that either. But um, you know, um, you know the idea of going, like I said, of going to a twenty five thousand seat place made all the sense in the world to me this one um you know we're gonna we're gonna see but uh it's got to be the biggest show in there if it's not if it's not the biggest and best lineup in their history um you know i it 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 may be tough and then you know i mean look that it, it will be it will be a great statement for them if they can do you know, even even thirty, forty thousand people would be a great, great statement for the company. So, and a great visual, and um, they would have that thing that that you know the ability to produce a show that it appeared they couldn't, and and uh, you know I think that that is that's really important right now for them. I think you know to 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 do something to make you look like you're not that far away because right now you know obviously. They don't have. They have not. Ha they have not produced a show like that. They've had the chance to, on certain occasions. They've had the, the, they've had the ticket demand, in many markets to do a stadium show, but um, have not pulled the trigger. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low key at first, like, bah, 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 bah. but he keeps going. Bah, 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 bah. He claps. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I got a headlock ass. <laughs> Ah, I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.